Uh, next, I'd like to show the effect of uh, the length of the coil on the value of the inductance L. I'm going to change the length L, little l here, the length of the coil, the distance between the two ends of the coil. I'm going to change that length and see how that impacts the uh, inductance, uh, capital L. Let's measure the inductance of this coil. It's about 50 turns on here and see what the inductance of this coil is. This coil has an inductance of 0 0.028 millihenries. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the length of the coil. I'll take the wire out of this hole here and uh, connect it up to the uh, meter and we'll change the length of the coil and uh, keep our connection there. The inductance of 0 0.028 millihenries is going to change as I compress this coil and make it shorter, keeping the number of turns the same, keeping the cross-sectional area the same, and the permeability constant the same. The only thing that'll change will be the distance from one end of the coil to the other end of the coil, or the length of the coil. We see that inductance increase as the length of the coil decreases. As the length of the coil increases, the value of the inductance decreases. Showing the effect of little l, the length of the coil, on the inductance, capital L.